kids. I am making a mess. Um, so probably uh, yes. <laughs> I'm making mistletoe and ivy. I've never used this one before. Don't know what it does. Um, this has got the line in it already. Just if you're wondering why it's changing colours. Um, I'm using Oriental Red. Uh, this is one of these micas that Becky sent me. It's not a red red. It's got like a pink sheen to it. It's really pretty. Um, and Melon Fizzer for the green, which is kind of like a it's kind of a greyish green. So I thought they'd look really nice together. And that one's got a you can see sort of see the pinky tinge to it. But yeah, so I thought I would just do that and I don't know. Um I might actually do a hang as well this time. Hopefully no one will ring me at the end of the soap. <laughs> it's just like Jesus. I just had a late I just was setting this up and, and someone messaged me, so I was very popular today. <sighs> Probably not actually popular, but you know. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so again, this is another one I don't know what it's going to do because I don't know anything about it, couldn't find any info. I feel like I saw something floating around in there. It might just be a reflection. I don't know. But um, I think what I might do... Oh, I don't know. No, I won't. I'm going to put some in here and mix these up first. And then um, I'm not going to put a lot in them though. Oh, you know what I should have done? If I'd thought about it, I would have made up some little bloody ivy leaves and some mistletoe. Why didn't I think of that? Because apparently I don't think anymore because I'm too tired every day. <laughs> oh dear. This is debris. I need to get this. Oh, laptop sorted because the sound doesn't work when I try and watch a video on it. Like it, it records no worries but when I try and watch a video it, it, the sound will turn itself off after about two or three minutes. Uh, so I bought some $12 speakers from Office Works yesterday and it works. So I can watch videos now so I can actually because I had haven't been able to watch videos or anything and the internet so shit I can't do anything on the internet um, I just work non-stop and I'm tired and it would be nice to just once a day maybe just watch a video you know just stop for an hour or so so we'll see we will see now let's put this fragrance in here and see what the hell is going to happen oh dear anyone who's ever used this is probably going ah! and such and such happens well nothing appears to be happening that's actually loosened trace by a lot. So we're gonna take the stick blender out because it's not rising, so. Right this actually doesn't smell bad. Like the French penny that I did before, it doesn't smell bad either. So all these ones that I thought would stink actually don't, which is kind of surprising. All right, I'll put a bit in there and a bit in there. Oh, there you go. And shit goes right. It's kind of scary. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for it to like thicken really quickly. Because that 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 will happen. Sometimes you'll find a, a fragrance will loosen your trace, and the next minute you'll turn around and, you, and it'll be like solid. But this is not doing it. Is very very well behaved guys okay so actually I'm gonna pour all of that in and drip on the bench and I'm going to just pull this out of here and put one in there 
I'm not going to do these anymore. I've decided I'm going to make little smell these with melt and pour because these things when they're out all day every day in the shop they are not retaining their scent not you know ones that not ones that are like older so yeah so I think I'm gonna do uh, melt and pour in um, melt containers Okay, when I say, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not like, it's not on my favourite list. <laughs> it's definitely not on my favourite list, but it's, you know, it's not awful. Don't get me wrong. Oh, shit. See, I'm so useless. Whatever. 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 Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I have this song stuck in my head. It's a really good song. It's called Ooh La 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 Poison by, I don't know who it's by, uh, some, it's K-pop, of course it's K-pop, what else would it be? <laughs> do I listen to anything else? Actually, yes I do. Alright, let's see this hanger in here. Oh my god, there's so much mess. Oh, there's just too much mess, I can't take it. I can't take it, guys. It just keeps making more and more mess. <sighs> this town's so funny. It's like half past five and it's dead. Like, seriously, there's not a single shop open. It's, <laughs> there's no cars in the street except mine. <laughs> it's just creepy. All right. Well, this is so fluid. It's a bit scary. Okay, we're just going to just have a little spinny around and here and let's go in there and do that. I don't want to do too much because I'm worried it's going to go brown. We go over there. Ugh, I get soap on my fingies. Ugh, eek. Okay, so the top, what shall we do? Because I can get some more out of here for sure. Full shizzle. That's me being gangster. I'm so gangster. You know, well, I've got a kid who might be in jail, so doesn't that make me gangster? <laughs> I just don't know if he's in jail or not. <laughs> it's quite sad, isn't it? I suppose a lot of you are still wondering why I didn't go to the court house with him. Oh, yeah, you can see me not answering that. Oh. <sighs> Kids, mate. Kids don't have them. I'll tell you what, there's been a few times in my life when I have said if I could go back and have my time over, I wouldn't have them. Sometimes I think that, sometimes I don't think that. Like, you know, when. I shouldn't be saying any of this. <laughs> I should just be keeping all this shit to myself. Oh my god. And then, you know, I don't. I don't care. You guys, you know me, I'm real. I don't. I'm pull punches. But, um, like, the last two weeks with the threat of fire, um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Port Macquarie was actually under threat. And Travis, my metal boy, lives down there. And you guys know he, he's not talking to me at the moment because. I don't know because he's a dickhead. I don't know why he's not talking to me. I really, really don't. Anyway, so I said to Bree, I said, I'm really worried about him. Could you do me a favour? Could you just message him and make sure that he's okay? And um, she said, righto, so no worries. So she messaged him and yeah, he's all good, no problem. Anyway, you know, two weeks later, here I am, under threat. Did one of my children, even one of them, Messaging me and asking me if I was okay. What do you reckon the answer is to that? Yeah, right. That's exactly the answer to that. None of them. So, sometimes I get cranky at <laughs> my kids. <laughs> and they wonder why. So, I oh, know they don't wonder because they don't know that I'm cranky because they don't talk to me. So, Curtis only talks to me when he wants money. And Travis just doesn't talk to me, and Jared hasn't spoken to me 
in 20 years or something. So, whatever. Whatever. It's all good. See, the thing is, I know that the common denominator is me. I just am choosing to ignore that. Because <laughs> that's what I always say about my sister. Like, she must realise that in all her troubles, like, she has troubles with every neighbour wherever she lives. And doesn't she realise that she's the common denominator? So, you know, I mean, if I'm going to throw this out there at other people, I have to throw it back at myself. Now, I'm going to stop talking about my family problems because you guys probably don't want to hear it. And yet you've got to hear it anyway. How do we make this more Christmassy? Because Christ Almighty, it's Christmassy anyway, so let's go with it. I know. I know. I'll be back. Now, while I don't have any... Well, I do have tinsel, but I don't actually want to put tinsel on the soap because I don't know. Oh, why can't you, you can put tinsel on the soap, right? I mean, you could. Um, I don't know how liquidy this is. Oh, excuse me. Let me just give this a little squirt. Maybe that'll set the top up a little bit. Although I don't think that actually works. And yet I do it anyway. Um, I'm thinking these look like Christmas balls, right? Yes, yes, look, that's so cute. Oh my God, I'm such a dickhead. I bought a Christmas tree yesterday for the shop. No, oh, don't have one in the house, and I won't have one in the house. I don't celebrate Christmas really much anymore. I go and have lunch with Dad and that's pretty much it. Um, anyway, so I bought a Christmas tree yesterday. Uh, it was $5 <laughs> and I bought it because it's a rainbow tree. Oh dear. So I've got it here in the shop. That's it. I spent all my money on the shop yesterday. I bought a set of twelve dollar speakers for the laptop, although that will actually be for me, so I can't claim that that's for the shop. I also bought this cool glittery thing, which again not really for the shop. <laughs> It's a photo frame in, in, inside a snow globe. You can, you can put photos inside and you shake it up. It's got all glitter. It's pretty friggin' awesome. Um, uh, what else did I get? Oh, a three dollar um, LED uh, flamingo. <laughs> I bought the stupidest shit yesterday, and I spent um, oh, a hundred bucks in spot light. Yeah, because I had a voucher. If you spend a hundred dollars, you get forty bucks off. So I figured I've got forty dollars worth of free fabric. So I spent one hundred and two dollars, and it cost me sixty two bucks. So. And I got some really cool kids fabric to make some more aprons and what else? Oh, I got some really nice, um, like that cheesy friggin' Sailor Jerry or whatever it is. I don't like it, but like everything you hate about tattoos. <laughs> There's people who don't have tattoos have this idea of what tattoos are like and that's what this fabric always makes me think of. All right, glitter. I mean, if we're going to go with shiny balls, we might as well go with glitter. Yes? Yes. I do believe we should. And we'll go with this super shiny shit. That's what it should be called. I might tell Amanda that. She has to rename Blizzard to super shiny shit. <laughs> she'll think that's hilarious. She won't change it, but she'll think it's hilarious. And I might just... Just because... I can. They're so cute. Oh, I still haven't used these ones yet. These ones are the ones I want to use. I found unicorn sprinkles yesterday too. It's like, oh my god, I need those. I didn't buy them. I was so good. All right, so that red is an interesting color. I mean, it's a lot redder than I thought. It's not pink at all, is it? So. Yeah, you did well, baby. I think we just I think of just a tiny little squirt of red liquid in there, and that would make a really nice red. So, all right, I will stop waffling because this is a 14 minute video. That is a that is my official Christmas soap, the one and only. <laughs> all right, see you for the cutting. Bye. Hi guys. So this one has a bit of fragrance leakage, and um. It looks kind of weird. So it's definitely gelled 
you can see on the bottom too. Um, I think uh, I think this new microwave. I'm going to put this on its side just so that if the if I hit those balls, they fall off and don't go through the soap. Um, yeah, I think that new microwave is just like super duper good. And um, I melted these oils for two minutes, and then the last soap um, I only melted, melted for a minute and a half, and they were definitely not as hot. So um, I think I might have soaped a little hot with these. Right. Oh, I've heard one ball. I've heard it. Oh, there's another one that's actually in the way. There we go. Oh, oh, you guys, look at that! Oh, cut that. oh that looks freaking amazing! And here's me thinking it was going to be muddy. Wow! Oh, you guys, look! Look! It's awesome! It's a little muddy. Like, there is some patches where it's just a little muddy. But not, oh, not as much as I was expecting. And this, all this ugliness on the outside, it's, it's not in the soap anywhere. So that's a lovely piece. I like that. It's almost like a stocking, isn't it? Yep, I'm really seeing things in soap today. Ah, oh, dear. This is lovely. Oh, I'm loving this. You can see... Um, because these are sugar pearls, they actually melted. So this soap got particularly hot. Um, let's have a look at this one that come off. Only just its silver come off. But still, yeah. It obviously got too hot. But that looks freaking fantastic. I'm so happy with this. Wow, I'm stunned that it looks as good as it does. I seriously thought when I cut this this morning, I was like, yeah, that one, out of all the three of them, this one is the one that's going to just look like mud. So, that red, and like I said, that red that I got off Becky, that, it's called Oriental Red. Um, she'll probably pipe up in the comments. <laughs> pipe up, that makes it sound like no one wants to hear from her. That's not true, Becky, at all. Um, where she got it from, because it's, it's actually quite nice. Like I said, I think they would only need just like a tiny little bit of um, liquid red and it would make a really nice red. I'm actually going to try it. I have um, one, two, three, four, I've got five glitters there that I bought um, from Amanda that I haven't used yet. I have, there's three greens, a blue and a red. So... I want to make some sort of red soap. Oh no, turn that over, dickhead. Think, stop talking and think. Can you hear the noise that the fellas are making out there? Bloody hell. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Why do I not do hanger swirls more often? Because apparently I really like them. Is that right? That is right. And there, last one. That's actually pretty, real wispy. I like that. But yeah, you can see, see on the top. Oh, there's another ball. See on the top, you can actually see where the sugar's leaked out, and it's actually burnt on top of the soap. It's brown. It's that's the weirdest thing. All right, and I will pop out there a little thing me jiggly. Little smell me. Right. For my newcomers, because a lady did ask, the, well, someone asked that may not necessarily be a lady, I just assumed because the majority of my viewers are female. Um, I sit these in front of my soaps at markets because I wrap my soaps up in um, plastic. So I leave these out the front so people can smell. That's actually nice and strong. You can smell that. That's very. It's got like kind of like a mint in it. 
mistletoe and ivy. Mistletoe and ivy. I don't know what other one I smell like. It's got mint in it. But yeah, there you go. Woo! I'm going to hurry up because I've got to open the shop in 10 minutes. I've got another soap to cut. Alright guys, I'll see you for the next soap. Bye!